G'day comrade and welcome back to the Republic with me, GD. In our last couple of episodes, we spent all our time working on the production lines for both coal and iron to eventually end up in steel. Although we've spent a lot of time and a lot of effort planning this out together, I have a small problem, and that is I don't have the workforce. I don't have the available labor to run any of this. So although we'd really like to, well, click a button, and have it all instantly build, I need to do one small thing first, and that is, well, I need to build a town, which means I need to ask you a very important question. I need to ask you whether I can borrow a like, because if I can borrow a like, if I can just borrow a like and get to keep that like because you enjoyed the video, uh, then that means that we can get on with planning out a town and also, well, planning out this construction area. So, so things have changed with this major um, construction effort that we're about to embark on. And the first thing I actually want to do is I want to start the actual construction effort happening in the construction area. You may notice there's a whole lot of dirt paths in because, well, I have... Yeah, I can't fund from Ribbles. I'm not clicking that button. Uh, I want that button. It would cost us 6 million Ribbles if we had the option. But um, uh, in realistic mode, you can't build things automatically. Cool. Yeah, uh, so I've put in a whole lot of dirt roads because I want to get construction started. What I want to do is I want to give the vehicles the ability to start building things that don't require maintenance. So that is all the roads, all the paths, um, anything that we don't have to repair, anything we don't have to take care of, I want to get the construction crews in and start a building. And I have managed to worm dirt paths through every intersection that you can possibly see so we should be able to get crews in here to start building some of this not all of this uh, but at least some of it so if i go to assign mode we're gonna have that enabled that enabled that enabled uh stuff here more here all of that uh you don't have a road bad luck uh that uh that all of that all of that um can't get that done but we can get that done we can get through to here we can get through to here and into here and there and that's as far as i can get no i can get into here uh can i get that button please uh can i get this done because that's important we'll come back to that in one second we can't get into here but i can get down to here 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 i can oh Team number one. There you go. You've already started auto signing yourself to things. Yep. Uh, this is what I want to get started on. There's a lot to do. Uh, all the roads are asphalt, so they're not going to be exactly fast to build. Uh, but, um, well, we can at least get started on them. And can I also get all of that built as well? And in here as well, because this is another important thing that has been changed. Okay. So. We can send the crews off to start getting things done. Now, a couple of things you may notice have changed. Uh, one, I was missing a road up here that got added in. Uh, I finally flipped this conveyor the correct way, so it's actually picking up both coal and iron and pushing onto steel. I also moved around some of the tracks, moved around some of the roads, and more importantly, if we look underground, I've put an underground metro. Um, I want to get people over here with a metro. So we've put in the both the metros, uh, both, well, two metros two metros which should give people access to can we go above background uh, above back, back above ground yep uh if we hover over this we can see that they can access from this metro everything on the right hand side of this build and from this metro that's the coal aggregate storage i want that i want the metro there we go uh they can access everything on the left hand side of the build so i'm gonna need two metros which also means something we're gonna have to get done fairly soon is i need to get these tracks built uh, can I enable those? Not that that will help me because I don't have a track builder over here currently. So we need to get a track builder over here. Uh, Metro is going to need underground power attached to them. So I have put in uh, just one simple power transformer for right now, which I don't really need built, but I do need the underground railroad and also the end station built. We're going to come back and we're going to do a lot more talking about the Metro in the future. The only thing you guys need to know for right now is we're going to need to have a wood-based railway. That'll do. Uh, you come this way. You come this way. And down to here. Uh, I'll need to put in a proper station in a minute, but I'm going to need metro track. Just a little bit of straight. Uh, probably... I don't want cancel road. I want cancel railway. Uh, something like that. 
can I just cross that? No, I can't do crossings. Metros are weird. We'll have a, maybe even a dedicated video on metros. Because they're not exactly, they don't operate like normal train track. Let's put it that way. Uh, I also want to hook that train track in there because we can actually get that built. Uh, can I get that activated? And can I get that activated? And that should get a track builder. If I unpause the game, should get a track builder over here. Hopefully. Hello? Yeah. Cool. Can build that. And you can't build that one yet. Uh, but we can approve those. Okay, so I need to get uh, track builders over here to start building things. I'm also going to need to cross over here. Yep. Build that. Cool. Uh, I need this started at least. Better. Um, I need this start at least so we can at least start getting stuff over here. I'm going to need to build a depot. There's, there's a lot of stuff we need to do. But the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about um, people because that's going to be the main topic of today's episode. I need to start planning our town. Although we can start getting process on these or progress on these roads and the conveyors and the power poles, I can't do much until I actually have people to run the iron mine, the coal mine, the processing plants, the trash dumps, uh, the incinerators and of course the steel mills so first thing i need to do is we need to come over here and i need to talk about um pollution so i have a heating plant over here this is going to like and like and like and stop and if we check on a heating plant a large heating plant uh, this produces 26.5 tons worth of pollution per year which is an awful lot which means you do not want people living anywhere near this so what i want to do is i want to have a buffer zone of about a thousand meters from that and we're going to put in a little marker. So I need to build to the right of that road. On top of that, uh, can I minimize you, please? Um, we have a lot of buildings over here. And if I look at a iron processing plant, which produces 12 tons worth of uh, pollution per year, and we do a quick double check, and I have four of them here, plus the actual iron mine itself, which also does another 12 tons worth of pollution per year, we can see that this area here is very, gonna, very, very, very quickly going to be the, as much if not more than what that heating plan is so what i want to do is same story i want to draw out a line of about a thousand meters yeah about there and then i want to draw a magic line about here somewhere and say um this is my build zone this is my build zone for my town we should be close enough that we get people over here easy enough uh, with a metro not with buses we just need too many people uh because we need about two thousand people to run this at full speed and that's for a shift per day and i need three shifts per day so i need at least six thousand people to run this plus the town itself will also need some amount of population um to run the town itself so we need to look at those problems uh which means residential areas uh i need to look at large residential buildings and then i need maximum density so if we have a look uh we have 295 okay 295 i built a number of these they're not too bad they're pretty good. They're pretty compact. They have a quality of 89% and they store a lot of people. Uh, and if we keep going through the list, like 270, except um, you're long and skinny and not as tall. So probably not as compact. Um, 252, except you're the same size as the previous one. So probably not going to work. Uh, 245, same story. I want tall. I want tall. I want to pack them in like sardines. Uh, 280. You're just longer. Um, 160, 140, 167, 210, 120, uh, 160, 145, 180, 180. That's not too bad. That's, that's pretty compact. Uh, but then again, this building holds 300. So the, none of these are really good options. But if you own the Ukraine DLC, you do get access to a couple of extra buildings. Uh, one of them being the Dnipro Flats. Now, the Dnipro Flats are incredibly expensive. 185 tons worth of steel. Uh, 490 tons worth of concrete. Uh, also, a whole lot of prefab panels, a whole lot of work days. That's fine, because I have all those things except steel. We're going to have to buy steel, but um, if we do a quick double check on current prices on the global market... And I look at steel, uh, next page, 
Steel is, oh, 1,200. 1,200 uh, rubles per ton. And this is a lot of tons in one building. Uh, but then again, if I look at some of my main exports, like um, booze, booze, uh, that's 1,000. Uh, clothing, clothing, I export a lot of clothes. 5,000. 5,000 rubles for a ton of clothes. I think we're okay. I think we're okay for right now. So what I want to do is I want to play with these buildings. Now, I'm going to do the worst thing ever. I'm going to turn on the grid, and I'm actually going to build on the grid because I want to smack people in like sardines. So we're going to go with one, two, three, four, five. Now, these things hold um, 600 workers per building. I'm going to go on 500 because 500 is just way easier math for us, for, for us to work out. So two of them is a thousand, uh, four of them is two thousand. Uh, that's two and a half thousand people in just one row, and I need to get to ten thousand at least. Uh, so if I did another row, then we should be good. Um, now, of course, I'm going to need you know to put in trash service and a few other things. So we'd probably be better if I had a spare row. Because um, I'm going to have to remove some of these buildings to put in trash services. But then if I have an extra row, it, it would look a little bit sad if it was just by itself. So it should probably have a matching pair. Uh, can I remove you, actually? Uh, a, a matching pair, you know, a matching set. Just, just quickly like that. But, like, it's very neat. So maybe, you know, we don't need to build them. We can, we can place them and then not build them. But we could also put in... Can I get your face that way? Yep. Uh, another row very quickly and easily. Um, yeah, train is waiting too long. We're going to deal with that problem in a minute. Uh, remove. And remove. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think that, you know, six rows of houses. Uh, that's two and a half thousand. That's... 5,000, that's 10,000, that's 15,000. That that should cover me. Should cover me. Now, there are, there are going to be some exceptions. We're going to have to do a few changes. Uh, I need to turn off the grid or build the grid. Um, and I'm going to need a road in here because we're going to need trash services. And I'm pretty sure that if I do this correctly, I can hook in all these buildings to... Come on. They'll do. Uh, to a single road. And then get a footpath through here. Yeah. And then if I put a single trash bin, because a large trash bin happens to be about the same size as one of these buildings, and we zoom out really quickly, we can see that um that's going to cover the bottom two rows for trash completely from one trash bin. And then with some careful planning, uh, I'm pretty sure that I can do that. And then if we hover over the trash bin and bring up this, um, 137 meters. Okay. Uh, you are the one that didn't make it. Uh, can I rotate you around? Can I turn on the grid and face you that way? 124 meters. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's one trash bin for 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 3... No. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. That's one trash bin for 7,000 people. Like, you really don't want to be living right next door to the trash dump. Uh, but I think that that's a system we could use. And then if I built the exact same thing over here... Well, that'd be enough for 14,000 people, which is more than enough to run steel and have people left over to do... Yeah, you're being an idiot. Go away. Uh, and have people left over to do a few other things. So um, uh, let me finalize this and also work out what the story is with our traffic jam. And then um, we'll continue the story. All right, so let's start with our traffic jams. Um, we have a small problem. Uh, it's been a small ongoing problem. Go. Go, go, go. You're incredibly slow. Go faster. Uh, it's been an ongoing problem for quite some time. And that is uh, this intersection, uh, this intersection, and this intersection is just too close to one another. Uh, yeah, go. Uh, can I remove signals? 
Uh, we're going to remove that and remove that. And we're going to have this as one giant intersection. We're just going to make things worse before it makes things better, but that's fine. You can go, and then I need you to go as well to get out of the area and clear things up. And then you can move forward into here. Go. Uh, go. Yeah, just phase through the train. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So that should have unjammed that for right now. Now, as you can see, I've already uh, ripped apart the hill a little bit because what I want to do is I want to merge this intersection with this intersection. I have promised myself right since square one, we come back and tidy this up and it's past you. It's really past you with longer trains and them running around more often. Things are just getting jammed more often. So what I want to do is I want to pull a train track out from here and I want to plug it in about there. That'll do for right now. Okay. And then I want to pull out a partner train track back up to here. Cool. Uh, I need you to go into uh, here. Cool. Uh, then I need you to go into here. And then I need you to go into here. Cool. So, if I put this in place, uh, I need to have a crossover, of course. Uh, can I get a signal? Cool. And then I can put in a crossover, like so. Yep. And then you'll need a signal after that, but we'll worry about that in a little minute. Uh, that means we could get... Oh, God. Uh, can I not? Much better. Cool. Uh, we could get that built. Now, the other thing I need to do is anybody who's in the Like a Girl station needs access into here to get fuel. I don't want them to have to go for a five-mile hike this way to come up, to turn around, to come all the way back to get fuel because they won't have enough fuel to do that. So I need to, from the right-hand side of the grill factory, plug into one of those tracks. Like so. Beautiful. Cool. And then from the right-hand side of this one, plug into that one. Cool. Uh, so we're going to approve that. Build. 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 All right. After this is done, I can rip out this intersection. Now, of course, track builders are going to get in the way. They're going to be annoying, but that's fine because I also want to remove this intersection. I also, it's been suggested many times that now I have uh, tunnel builders, I should underground this road, well, this train track, or build a bridge over it. And I think it's time to get that done as well. But let's start with this because this is literally a train that drops off food occasionally and drops off gravel for reconstruction and for heating. So I am hoping that if we put a signal here, so I have some separation, I should... No, uh, can I get raised terrain? Bring this up a little bit so it's sort of flat-ish. Uh, down a little bit. Something like that. Uh, wrong button. I should be able to bring this out like this and this out like this. And then in the future, not right now, I want to have this first section done. Can you just go? This first section done before I jump the next hurdle. Uh, we're going to want to tunnel under here. Yeah, I need this train track gone first. Because uh, there's just no other way around it. So. It's all red. Oh, it's all red because there's a new intersection. And you're technically blocking yourself. Yeah. So I need to babysit this for a minute. Uh, just a minute or two till the track builders get in here and get this done. After they've got this done, I should be okay. We should be able to continue with things as normal. In the meantime... Oh, I clicked the button. Uh, these are all done. I think I want to redo the roads so they stay up white. So they're easier to identify. But... um. We have all the flats put in, uh, the trash bins, and... Uh, let's give me a path. Yep. And I have the paths coming through the block as best as possible. So these middle people can get out to this side as easily as possible. 
uh, these middle people on this side can get out to here as easily as possible because I need to plan the rest of the town. Now, the rest of the town is going to need a few things. Uh, and just city services wise, if we go to residential areas, uh, well, first off, we're going to need food. We'll get to food eventually. Uh, state infrastructure. We're going to need to have a kindergarten. Uh, considering the density of these buildings, we're going to need the biggest kindergarten possible. Uh, I'm also going to need a school. And same story, we want to go for the biggest one possible. 540 people. That sounds like uh, the right amount of students to me. All right, on top of that, we're going to need, um, we're just going through the list. We'll need uh, a university. Uh, and this time we're going to go for the head cut quarters, the Communist Party, uh, because it's very big. And it can do 420 students at once. So that seems about right for us. Uh, we're going to need a police station, like so. Uh, we're going to need a secret police, like so. Uh, we're going to need to have state infrastructure. No. Uh, we need a cinema, of course. Uh, we're going to need the House of Culture. Yep. Uh, gallery Arts. Yes. Uh, we'll need to have a sports hall, uh, which covers the sports needed 175 at once. Uh, we'll need a dynamo as well. Um, we're probably even going to go for an indoor pool. Um, so we'll need all these things and all of these things. Of course, doubled. I'm going to need one for the left-hand side of the city and one for the right-hand side of the city. So we need to build everything twice. Uh, the other things we're going to need are going to be... Oh, uh, we're going to need a fire station, obviously. A big one. Uh, so we'll put you over here because these are the buildings we only need one of. Hospitals. Uh, the game just added the large hospital which has parking spots for 24 cars and comes pre-built with two helipads on the roof. So I think that sounds like a great idea for the new town. Uh, we're also going to need, obviously, the City Hall accounting. And I think that's everything. Um, and of course, I put a, a metro here. Uh, the metro is... Metro station. No. Uh, we have an above ground metro station large, which can have 900 workers on the platform, um, which is hopefully enough to keep the trains moving and keep the plant running. Uh, meanwhile, you built your little bit of track and you're now stuck. This is what I said, I'm gonna have to babysit these guys. Um, all right, so whilst I babysit those, uh, very quickly, we're gonna want a school. Uh, can I remove this road? There's my auto save. Cool. Uh, can I put in a school? Uh, we're gonna go with a school probably about here somewhere. Uh, like so. Uh, we're gonna throw in the preschool, the kindergarten, right beside it. And we'll whack you right there. Now, I'm gonna want to have a footpath that comes between these two buildings. And can I cancel that little footpath? Please, thank you. Uh, can I move you out of the way for a second? So I can move you straight back. Uh, probably that direction. And we can see... Oh, you're only calculating walking along the roads. You're not calculating walking down all the footpaths because I clicked the button. Uh, I'll fix that. All right, so we can see that, yes, I can put a school here. That should cover everything. This little bit of area right here we'll probably put in trees uh that's definitely a tree uh a red star monument that's a tree and also a eternal flame of the obelisk because they should fit in there nicely yeah uh and then over the back i'm hoping uh well i'm, I'm sure actually that we're gonna put trash right here which will hook up to a Probably a gravel road. Probably be, end up being asphalt. Uh, but that should give me trash services for both those buildings. It does. I don't need that anymore. Uh, can I remove that bit of road? I'd like this to stick out like that. And then I need to fill this hole. Um, okay, you're done. You're done. Police station. Let's go with secret police. Secret police can go here. Uh, can I plug that in there? 
I center you somewhat? Okay. And then I'd really like to run a footpath through the back here for access. There we go. Uh, no. Uh, how about there? Oh. Uh, you are going to be too far from that trash bin, so you can have your own private trash bin. Something like this. And I have a little bit of space. You're a little building. Uh, and we can put you something like that. Yeah. I think that'll be our first block. But let me go babysit track models for a little bit. Uh, yep. Uh, you're going to the construction office. You can go home. And you're going to go build something. You can drive forward. And if I don't do this, uh, this will never get done. So, um, yeah, let me get this infrastructure put in and then we can remove this and then we can then we can take the next steps. Of course, winter is here and the track builders have got in and got things done. Of course, this is one major intersection right here now, but uh, that means that this is a whole lot more clean track. And I've put in a couple of signals here to just increase the throughput just a little bit. Uh, but um, of course, with winter here, it means I do not want to disconnect the tracks to either food storage or to, well, coal. Well, it's gravel. Cool. Uh, it should be okay, but I just don't want to risk it. Uh, it does mean that when winter breaks, we can put in our tunnels, which should... Six meters, nine meters. We should be able to get both of those in fairly easily, uh, but I don't know exactly where they need to come out. Uh, 11 meters. Yeah, I need to be able to plug into here, which means I need to deconstruct this, which means I need to... Uh, not be able to deliver coal there, which sounds very bad. Uh, so I want to make sure that you're free before I do that. So we're going to leave that. Uh, what I did do in the meantime is I threw together another construction office and I filled them all with the big dumpers uh, because we're going through an awful lot of gravel and an awful lot of asphalt building out, um, well, the roads. Uh, if there's snow on it, it's built. If we bring up this, we can see that they are working their way into some of these inner roads that we didn't have access to before. Uh, they're also working on the power poles because we do have all the power is coming through to a couple of switches. We're not building the switches. We're just building the power cables themselves. We can build that power cable too. We're getting some of the paths in. Um, there's an awful lot of stuff going on over here. Also, I threw in, uh, well, the tracks to the metro. So we can start getting the metro tracks built. Um, because these are going to take some time, like 2,000, just that small section there is 2,000 work days. Um, that's another 1,300 work days. Uh, I'm missing a metro track. Cool. Uh, can I put that one back, please? Uh, zoom out. Uh, that's 17,000 work days. Let's make you slightly shorter. 15,000 work days. Yeah. Uh, these things are not quick to be built. Uh, can I go back underground and get rid of that stuff and just approve that? Um, 13,000 and 13,000 workdays. Now, they are done a lot of it with a tunneling machine, but the track builders also need to get here and build the actual tunnel entrances, then also brick the tunnels, uh, then also get the tracks done. So, yeah, it's going to take a little while. Uh, hence, we're going to talk more in depth about the Metro in the future. Uh, meanwhile, planning over here... Uh, well, I went and straightened things up, and we have the kindergarten, the school, the secret police, and also the gallery of art and the trash with some paths in, so we should be good over here. Yeah, I know it's winter. I know we don't like planning in winter, so we're going to keep this brief. Uh, we have got the school done, the kindergarten done, and you're the secret police, yes. Uh, also, uh, it was the gallery of art, which I've already removed. Cool. Uh, so, our next step is we need to plan out the next block. So, we still need access to sports. So, the sports hall is massive. So, I think that's going to be our next step. And I want to put you hard up against the train tracks. About there. Looks good to me. Uh, after that, we're going to need... So, uh, let's just remove that building. Um, after that, we're going to need the Dynamo, which is that one, which is another sports building, but you have a road connection. So, obviously, place you here. I don't really want trash in front of it. 
So we'll just drop you right there. We'll put in the footpaths and stuff later. Uh, which means the that building can go away. Uh, beside that cinema? Actually, the indoor pool. I like the indoor pool because it's wide. Because we're up to like 100 meters of trash right here. If I flip you, uh, you're not saying you can reach that trash bin at all. Oh, right there you can reach. Okay, so we're going to put you here. And then... I could put a trash in front of it, but I could put a trash beside it. You, culture building. Culture building right there. Uh, I'd like to have a footpath rather than having to walk on the roads, but I can always do that later. Like, you're going to need a footpath that goes to here or something. Uh, okay. So if we continue this main road, turn the grid back on, because you're on grid. Uh, if I do that, we should be able to put a trash bin, well, literally right here. And then you'll have access to both those buildings. 143 meters is a little bit far, but obviously if I put a footpath through here and into here and into even there, something like that. 143 minutes because you're still parking along the main road yeah but obviously they're path along the footpath so that's gonna be fine uh it does mean that over here uh, what are we gonna put over here we have the hospital which i'm not gonna use now because we're gonna go for the big hospital uh so indoor pool's done the culture's done the cinema maybe police station police station that sounds perfect because we already have a road right there so let's throw the police station, yep, there. Uh, and then I guess that just leaves the cinema. So if I put the cinema flip here, obviously it's too far for people to walk, but we're gonna use the footpaths on the right hand side. Uh, that should be everything. Now, one thing I haven't done yet is food. We need to have food over here. So, uh, food and shopping, we're going to have a large shopping setup. And unfortunately, you have the factory connection on the other side. Uh, which means we can face the footpaths towards the people. Actually, can we just zoom out a bit to make sure it's going to reach? I need to reach half the town. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll reach half the town. Uh, can I do a shortcut from there to there? Uh, you. Yeah, we can now reach the whole town. Okay, so we're going to throw in a shopping center. Now, my shopping center is going to need to have deliveries. And we've done this before. We're going to put in a forklift garage here. Uh, but then I need you to access a warehouse. Now, previously I've been using these warehouses because they have the the train track attached but they don't have meat storage so you hold 520 tons worth of crops you hold 560 tons worth of crops so a little bit more storage overall and i think i'm going to put you about here yeah i still need to have meat storage uh so we're gonna oh, oh meat storage uh little or big um, we don't need 300 tons. Yeah, I don't need 350 tons worth of meat storage. But I do need to have meat storage here somewhere. And that's going to be about here. But then, of course, I have nowhere to deliver stuff with trains. So we're going to also need a cargo train station. Uh, is there a smaller variant? That's a little bit too small, maybe. Yeah, I can't get those plugged in. Okay. Uh, that's bigger, that's longer, that's massive, that's massive, that's overdoing a little bit. Okay, turns out we're going to be using this one, and, oh, there's a bit of old road here. Cool. Uh, so if I throw you there, then I should be able to, actually, let's pull you back up. 
Let's put you this way further. Uh, let's pull up the fridge. Uh, move you this way a little bit. Pull you up and put you... There's, there's a lot of this. A lot of sliding things around by a little bit. We should be able to get a road through here. Into there. Into there. Into there. You also need trash storage. Uh, which... Maybe if I'm lucky... 61 meters. Too far? Down here's too far, is it? I wonder if I can slide everything up. 115 minutes. Oh yeah, I can definitely slide everything up. Uh, what happens if I just put you... Yeah. Yeah, I can squish everything up just a little bit so we can have that facing direct. Yeah, straight away the, the fridge can slide up a bit, which means the train station can slide up a bit. Yeah, yeah. Hell, I can just slide this road up a little bit. All right. So, well, you're at 125 meters, so maybe you'll just work like that. Okay, so that should be that. It does mean I'll have to bring train tracks in here. Uh, but honestly, well, we'll get to that. I think we're, we're definitely going to go underground because we have the main train line over here. And I don't know if this road's staying. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's going to sort of go this direction. But I'm definitely thinking at this point, if, we, if we're going to hit a main road, we're going to underground it. Um which is one thing I also want to do here at the border. Uh, after this has been cleared up, we're going to underground here as well. Uh, I've already put in the plans. It's just a case of physically building it. But again, I don't... Uh, yeah, w w we might start on that during the winter. We might not. We'll see how things go. But um, what I need to do is I need to iron out this, tweak this a little bit, and also... I think that's it. Yeah, I just need to tweak this bit and wait till winter's over. So um, I'll see you guys in a month or so. So winter's not quite over, but we've got everything in, I think. I think. Um, I went and tweaked things around a little bit and also put in a water treatment. I don't know if we're going to keep the water treatment here, uh, but I've also thrown in a couple of paths to make sure it can reach some houses at least which should be enough that it has workers. Um, and I figured the next buildings we're going to be playing with are going to be so big that it really doesn't matter. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to put in potentially a second water treatment plant. I think that's one of the things I want to look at. Um, also, I want to look at, well, the hospital and basically these buildings. Uh, the headquarters the accountant office, the fire station, the hospital, which are all massive, so the fact that visibility is a little bit low probably doesn't matter. Uh, so, let's start with water treatment. If I put you beside you, that should be fine. Now, I, I, I do have a consideration, and that is the warehouse is over here, and that's where the chemicals are going to be. Um, so... Hopefully that's fine. I don't know. Um, this might get moved to this side. Because it sort of makes a bit more sense on this side. But I don't think I can get workers there. It's maybe just a little bit too far away. But um, with both of those in, and I actually don't care which train it is. Uh, oh, I should mention that the track builders are still working on the very first section. Yeah, uh, we do have the end station built. We do have the power, uh, underground railroad power thing plugged in. But um, they haven't even started building the next section. Uh, as for the roads over here, like I said, if it has snow on it, it's it's at least no longer dirt. Um, or actually, it's probably easier to do that. Uh, so we can see that some roads are lit up, some roads are not lit up. Like, we can't make a lot more progress in... Uh, we have made decent head roads around this side. And actually, that's done. That's done. That's done. Uh, we've done all the way through down to here. I do need to... No, I don't need to get that done. I do need to get this little bit here done so we can make the metro. I also probably need to look at building some of the... Um, some of the... Um, what are these called? The conveyor overpasses so we can actually get through the roads because some of them I just could not get a dirt path in and around. 
but other ones are fine. Um, also, there's a whole lot of footpaths that need to be built still. Yeah, like you guys. Uh, yeah, there's an awful lot of footpaths and... Oh, we can build that and that. Cool. Go for it. Um, there's an awful lot to be built. But uh, back to our story over here. Nope, over here. Uh, so I need to put in... Probably the hospital first. Because you're a little bit skinnier. Now you have a road connection. Obviously going to be very important that we have access to that road connection. Uh, technically? I hope that's a through road. Like, if that's a through road, then that'd be awesome. Uh, okay, can I remove you and remove you? And let's try that again with the hospital. Here. Okay, so that gives me a little gap here. Where's that accounting office? You are the accounting office. Okay. If I put the accounting office... Here. Can I... Cancel footpath. Can I just give you a slight bow on that footpath? Hmm. Uh, might be too much of a bow. Uh, accounting office. Uh, flip. Oh, want those connections, please. That's what I want. Just give me a little bit more room around the outside so I can do... Hello? They all do. Uh, but that gives me a bit of room here, between here and here because I still need to get the metro tracks out. Because uh, this is obviously above ground. So... Something like this. And then just sink them through here. Uh, yeah, I could. Well, actually, I could definitely slide all that over. Yeah, I could definitely slide all that over. Uh, all right. So that should give us the metro. That should give us the accounting office. That should give us the hospital. Uh, I think the next one is going to be the headquarters because you are absolutely massive. And same story, I'd like to put you like here. Uh, technically you can even go closer. Actually the hospital can go closer too. Uh, can we remove that and cancel that road and then hopefully we'll put the hospital back. And that's winter breaking. Flip. Come on. Yeah. And you'll go straight into there. Uh, you guys don't need trash. Um, uh, I have to come back to trash because I'm still going to have to get train tracks out this side. Uh, probably trim that back. Oh. Okay, trim that back completely because I also need to put all this food infrastructure on this side as well. Um, yeah, we, we, we've only been planning half the town. I still have the other half to basically mirror. Um, okay, so that gets three out of four buildings in. I still need to get in a fire station, but that's okay. And now that winter's broken, what I want to do is... Uh, I want to make sure you're full where well, you're about to be very full uh you're okay can i set you guys up to load food load clothes and uh the people's market warehouse i want that that and that to be enabled and then we should be able to 
signals. Remove signal. Remove signal. Uh, remove connector. There's one along here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Never mind. Okay. Uh, we should be able to cancel. There's a connector right there. Okay. We should be able to cancel railroad. Uh, like that section. Uh, okay, you've already been aside. Okay, so once that's gone, I should go to get this six meters, nine meters. Uh, building the way. Um, okay, stop there. Further away. Okay, never mind. Uh, Twelve meters, and then I sort of want to pop up. Well, actually, literally right there. Uh, preferably above ground. You would have never thunk it. Uh, okay, so we need to get this deconstructed. Uh, after that's done, I also need to get the other side deconstructed. Um, there is somebody on their way in theory. In theory. Uh, so we need to get that done. We also need to get this done. I also want to probably... Uh, how is it signaled? It's not signaled. Um, I also want to probably have an auto save and disconnect that. Oh, there is a connector. Uh, there. Um... Put that up there. Okay. Uh, that should do us. And for the moment, I just have to babysit the trains and tell them to charge straight through. But once this has been deconstructed, which actually doesn't take too long, um, deconstructing train tracks is incredibly quick. It's funny enough, it's quicker to deconstruct train tracks than it is to build them. Uh, yeah, done. Okay. I should be able to take that. Building them away. Okay. Uh, nine meters to there. Okay. Uh, cancel railway. Okay, can I grab a tunnel uh, from here at above ground and go to there and then there? Cool. Uh, can I approve that? Can I merge those two jobs together? And then somebody will be along to do that shortly. Flash uh, starts, so it's definitely started. And then I can do the same here. I can at least get some of the infrastructure planned out. So you'll sort of follow along beside till we get to about here. And then uh, I give you permission to ignore the signals. And actually, can I throw in here? Here. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, things are a little bit too close. It's fine. Um, same story. Like we ripped down the train track super fast. Uh, can I prove that? So, uh, somebody's coming along to do that. Somebody's coming along to do that. That should get done quickly. You should... Four tons worth of gravel. It's fine. That hopefully gets removed fairly quickly. And then we can plug a tunnel into this as well. Um, ignore. Uh, ignore. And... Yeah, okay. Fine. There was a small... It was a small traffic accident, okay? It wasn't a collision, it was just a minor inconvenience. So you should be able to go to... Nope, just doesn't like me. Okay, uh, let's go with tunnel depth nine still, and then out here. No. Done. Okay. 
Improve that to merge that in the middle. Hello. Uh, suspend. Suspend. Merge. Uh, and then we should be good. Uh, you're done, whatever you were doing. You built the tiniest track in the world. Okay, cool. Uh... Okay, so we should be able to do that. Uh, let's remove that one. And that one. Yeah, because they're going to both require trains to stop and turn around and back up and all sorts of things. Um, you, you, yeah. Okay, so you are more of a, ro a roadblock than an actual train block in a section. Uh, but we should be able to get it removed fairly quickly. We should be able to get the new one built fairly quickly. Uh, I might need a new tunneling machine. Because we do have... Maybe I don't, because you're not even assigned. Uh, where is the rail construction office? Uh, wrong buildings. Uh, you... Uh, underground view. Can we get that and that built? Yeah. Alright. So, uh, that'll move on to the next second track, section of track, which is, um, an awful lot of bricks because it's underground. Also, it needs the actual tunneling machine to show up. I mean, whilst there are roads going in. Oh! Oh, that was another thing. Uh, I want to be able to unload meat into this refrigerator, which means I need to have meat available to go on the train. Uh, so I threw in this little meat storage back here, which is plugged directly in the train station, which means after I buy some refrigerated cars, we should be able to take meat directly to any stop. But uh, I haven't done this. So I haven't said you, once you don't want you to load there, I want you to take from meat storage number one and put the meat storage two. We're gonna keep you 80% full, 90% full. 90% full seems reasonable. Uh, and there's no crops. There's no crops because trains can't get through because track builders. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me um deal with the track builder all three, and I will see you after micromanaging these idiots. Yeah, I really want to rename them to Twiddle Dean, Twiddle Dum. But I have more than two of them now. I need more names. Seven dwarves? Only one of them was stupid. I feel like all I've been doing is babysitting track builders. Especially when they um can't do as they're told. Yeah. So, uh, quick update. Uh, we have this underground is just about finished being tunneled. You can tell because he's literally poking his head through the ground. Yeah. Driving a straight line is overrated. So, uh, he's almost done. As for the other track, uh, it is 99%. You literally just drove off. You son of a... Go home. Go home the quick way. Come back. Get this done. Uh, so this track's almost in, which means we can top back up the coal plant. The coal plant's doing fine. Uh, the other one is, um, well just about finished tunneling 45 30 10 and go home okay so with you going home we should have an edk coming over here right now which should get this up well at least started but it's another thousand work days two thousand work days so it's going to take a minute uh meanwhile i don't think i mentioned it i put in another construction office which i filled with the new dump trucks I do have a lot of old dump trucks I really, really want to get rid of, um, but we don't have a scrap yard yet, so we need to invest in that in the future. As for over here, uh, there has been no planning. No planning has happened here. Uh, I have put in a pond, and I have put in sewage pipes ready to go. Uh, and the pond was actually very, very important uh, because it turns out you couldn't actually reach water. Uh, which now you can reach water. Don't ask me how I found out. There may be a pump missing in the, um, the oil field. Yeah. Uh, two more heating plants have been put in, which do not need workers, guys. 
zero workers. Cool. Uh, and they do need graveling. Uh, can I just get that graveled and can I get rid of some buttons so we can approve that? Uh, put the construction crew on this job. Plus that. Plus that. Uh, assign that. Uh, can I get that done? Can I get that done? Train is waiting too long. Yeah, it'll be a track builder. It'll be a track builder. It's always a track builder. Uh, I'm gonna get build that. Okay. Uh, train is waiting too long. It is way down the line, and it's gonna be because a track builder is doing something stupid. There you go. Stupid track builder. Cool. Um, have started putting in the very first underground. The very first underground underneath the main road. Uh, but again, we need to get a tunnel boring machine over here. Which, no, we still need an EDK to build the actual tunnel. And then the tunnel boring machine over here. And then I need to get this rail in. It's going to take a little while to get this done. Uh, just like these have taken a little while to get done as well. Yeah, uh, track building is slow. Especially now that track building office is so much further away from where we're actually building stuff right now. Uh, I feel like I want multiple track builders. Yeah. So, uh, whoop. There we go. Uh, another thing that's happened with the track builders is we have uh, this one, which is 1,100 work days. Also needs electrical components. So this is another feature, I guess. Uh, because metros are electrified, we need the track builder to come out here, lay the bricks for the tunnel. Then after this job's got done, he needs to go home. Then he needs to come back a second time and lay in the tracks. And after that job's done, he then needs to go home. Then he needs to come back. And he needs then to put in the electrical components for the actual power. Um, so it's like three trips. Well, three jobs. Plus one to build the actual tunnel entrance. Plus another one to do the tunneling the, with the boring machine. Uh, speaking of boring machines, this one's got 10,000 work days left. Uh, and that'll get us through to the first metro, which I still haven't built because this road's not done yet. I sort of thought the road would get done by now. Uh, we do have the crews out here. They are putting together a lot of the roads still. We are getting to the point where most of the roads are done. Uh, I need to get that done, and I need to get that done, and that done. Uh, we can access this metro, but this metro is not important yet because, well, I don't have the first metro done. So I need to have the first metro done so I can drive the track builders through it so they can come bore the next two tunnels into the next metro, metro. And I still have an awful lot of footpaths and things to put in, some roads. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. But um, I'm also getting to run out of time because there's only so much I can fit into an episode. We're close to... um, I wouldn't say completion. We're close to a point here where anything I start building is going to require us to maintain it. Um... Now, there are some conveyor things that I do need to, well, build so we can drive straight through them. Um, in fact, there's one here, which is a major bottleneck between this side and this side. So this one we're probably going to end up building by default. Uh, also, there's a footpath in there uh, and a road in there. Road, road, road. Cool. Um, yeah, there's, there's a few parts that we're going to end up building building just so we can drive through things a little bit quicker i still need to remove all the dirt paths uh so we just have better access to everything but um this is where i want to leave this episode next episode we'll come back we'll finish our design work here this is still missing all the services so that is all the water all the sewerage uh all the auxiliary buildings like uh construction offices technical services um trash storage trash depots uh, train is waiting too long. Oh, look. It's stupid. Uh, have you at least got... We're up to tunneling. Okay. And you're also stupid. Hang on. Oh, what? You're driving up to there. So rather than turning right into this track... Oh, you're leaving. Why are you going this way to... I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, but that's the cold delivery using our underground for the first time. Cool. 
So at least we got that much working. Uh, yeah, yeah, I need to leave this video here because I am absolutely out of time. I'm already over the hour mark. So I'm going to, as always, I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to, uh, I don't know, I guess sort of apologize for the weird jump cuttingness that this is. But um, you pass through the ground. We're going to pretend we didn't see that. Uh, and I'm going to see you in the next episode where we can hopefully finish this alteration here and also go back to playing this town. Because same story, this is going to have, this is at least gravel roads, so it's a lot quicker to build, but um, it also needs an awful lot of steel to build it, which I still have to buy from the border, which is unfortunate. Uh, but money-wise, we're doing all right. You know, last year, well, last month was minus 1.4 million, because obviously we're building something that required steel, an awful lot of it, probably all the conveyor rails. And all the train tracks. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to leave this here. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do you hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you in, well, the very next video. All right. Bye.